Well, good morning, YouTube. I hope you guys are having a great day today. It is Saturday, July 16th, and this is episode two of my Project Thrive that I'm gonna be doing for the next 30 days, and it probably will go on even longer. So today, I'm gonna take you guys through like how to stay on track during the weekend and what you can do um, just so that you don't ruin all of your results on the weekend because, you know, it's like, it could be a vicious cycle that you can get in where you work so hard during the week and then you throw it all away on the weekend. So my first tip for you guys is to sleep in. Yes, I said it, sleep in. Um, I am totally an advocate for getting up early in the morning. I get up at like four, between 4.30 and five o'clock during the week to get my workout in, just to have some time to myself and just to um, get my like stress levels down. I know that sounds crazy, but once you start getting up early, it feels so good. And I'll do a whole other video on that. But today is about the weekend. So my tip for you is to sleep in, a, you know, as long as you can. Today, I only got to sleep in until seven, but still that's like two and a half hours longer than I normally sleep in. So that allows your body to get just an extra rest. It allows your body to um, recover from the workouts that you've done throughout the week. And the second thing it does is it gives you more time in between your meals. So I used to do a lot of um, intermittent fasting and I, I don't do that anymore since I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's. But if I sleep a little bit longer, that just allows my body to go a little bit longer in between meals and it allows it to tap into those uh, fat stores and burn those fats. So what I did is I um, I slept in for like two and a half extra hours. I got up, went to the grocery store, um, and took the kids to get some donuts. I didn't get any donuts, but then we got home, I worked out, and now I'm making breakfast. So technically, I guess today is kind of like an intermittent fasting day. I did have um, a little snack before I left for the grocery store. But what I did was I, while I was working out, I put the bacon into the oven at 375 so it would be ready when I came out. And now I'm going to cook up some mushrooms, some eggs, and some spinach um, in the bacon fat because if you follow me, you know that I follow like a ketogenic approach to eating, um, high fat, low carb, moderate protein. So I'm just gonna put some of that in there and cook those veggies up. So there is the finished product. I am super hungry. It doesn't look too, it looks, doesn't look too pretty, but it is gonna be super yummy. Right, so I still haven't showered yet, but we have a barbecue that we're heading to in a few hours. And my next tip for you on how to stay on track while during the weekend, or if you're going to a party or something like that, is to bring a dish that you know you are going to be able to eat and that is going to um, that you know something that's healthy basically because a lot of people will just bring a bunch of crap and stuff and you kind of want to try to stay away from that right now for me I am not having a lot of food so or different like I have a lot of restrictions I don't even call them restrictions they're just a lot of food that I'm choosing not to eat to try to feel my best especially with the Hashimoto's and trying to figure out what my trigger is so I'm not having any dairy right now I'm not having any gluten I'm not having um, corn wheat um, I can't think of what else right now, but those are like the basics that I'm I'm staying away from right now to see what is causing um, the inflammation in my body. So I'm gonna be making like a salad, like cucumbers. I've got my tomatoes, um, my English cucumber. I have some dill I'm gonna add in there um, and avocados. And who knows what else I'll end up throwing in there, but I'll show you guys the finished product. So I'm gonna make that up and then I will get in the shower and get ready for this barbecue we're going to.
raw zucchini into my salad. I love having raw zucchini in my salads. this recipe up as I go. I never ever follow a recipe. I'm horrible at that. I just like to throw things together. I'm going to add in some um, black olives. I love black olives. They are my favorite new snack now that um, I'm not having any corn or wheat or anything like that. They, they are like my new chip kind of in a way. Um, and then I'm going to add in this Greek um, vinaigrette made with avocado oil from Primal Kitchen. I love, love, love Primal Kitchen. You can get that um, from Thrive Market if you haven't already. There is a link to Thrive Market uh, down below. You can check that out. So I'm going to pour that over there, mix it together, and then we are good to go. And there is the finished product. It looks so yummy. Can't wait to eat it later. So my next tip for you to stay on track during the weekend is to fill up on healthy something healthy before you get there. So I'm going to make myself a um, Chicology. I'm gonna put in um, a half of a, it's probably like a quarter of a avocado. Um, I'm gonna add in some of the focused energy boost because I just need a little bit of energy because you can hear the crazy kids in the background wearing me out. Um, and then a little bit of almond um, coconut milk along with some water put in the blender and I'm gonna have that right now right before we go over to the party. So my next tip for you guys while you're trying to stay on track during the weekend is when you do attend a barbecue or a party or whatever it is, I want you to go in with the mindset that, you know, everything is gonna be okay. Don't be stressed about what you can't eat or whatever and if you end up eating something, then just tell yourself it's not gonna matter, it's not, it's gonna be fine. If you go in there and you start stressing about what you're gonna eat and you end up eating a bunch of stuff that you weren't planning on, and all you are feeling is guilty and more stress and more stress about it, that's gonna freak your body out. And you know, you're gonna believe what you're telling yourself. Tell yourself a different story. Tell yourself, you know what, I'm gonna have this, but it's gonna be fine. The other day this happened to me when I went to um, eat with my son for breakfast and I ended up having part of his scone and I don't know if it was, you know, dairy free or gluten free or anything and I immediately started freaking out about it. And I made myself stop and tell myself a different story. This is gonna be fine, I only had a few bites. Um, I'm not gonna go into a huge like Hashimoto's flare-up or anything like that like it's gonna be okay And guess what it was okay. I'm fine um, So change your mindset before you get there The other thing is is if you're gonna indulge in something that's completely fine I think you know life is all about balance and you should you should have what you like but pick something that you absolutely love that you're gonna have up for instance. I don't really like sweets. I'm not a cake person I don't really like um it's just not my thing. I am more of like a savory, like salty, chips, cheese, you know, that that's more of my thing. So if I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick and I'm going to indulge in something, it's gonna be one or the other. It's not gonna be both. If I end up having the chips and the salsa or the chips and the dip and stuff before dinner, um, I'm not gonna have the cake later. So just pick one or the other and then make sure you stay hydrated, like I said before. So um those are my tips for you so far. Let's see if there'll be any more. 